da 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 What are we gonna do next? Well, we're gonna play a game. Yeah, we're gonna play a game. And uh, what game am I going to play? Well, the game I'm going to play is called Dream Daddy. Yeah. Now, I will tell you this. I have uh, already started playing this game to kind of test it out. Okay, a little bit. To test it out. Uh, it is um, an adult game. Um. It, it does have a language that is not good for children. And it does have topics that are not good for, for children. Children should not play this game. Only adults can play this game. But don't worry. It, it, there's no naked people. There's no physical actions that happen. It's basically, it's like a, a, a comic book. Basically, it's like a comic book, and, and and there's no pictures in it that are that are terrible. Don't don't worry, it's it's just the material though. I don't feel comfortable with children. Okay, they 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 need to be older. Yeah. So what is Dream Daddy? It is a dating simulator. Yeah, that's right. A dating simulator is basically a video game that looks like a comic book but as you go through each page in the comic book you have to choose um relationship actions and your relationship choices through the game as you are reading through are going to decide your romantic partner. And Dream Daddy is that kind of game. It's a dating, you know, romantic, going on a date, dating simulator. But this time, it's your character is a man, is a dad, and you are trying to date another dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so I'm going to, I'm going to tell you a, uh, a, a confession. Uh, I don't play dating simulators. I don't really care. You know, um, I prefer action games, uh, adventure games or games with puzzles. Okay. And I don't like playing visual novels. Visual novels are games that are basically comic books. And and I and I I, I don't like those games. And I, that's it's, if if you like these games, that's great, that's that's fine. But it's just not my style. Um, but for Pride Month, I thought I would try this game. Why not? Okay. So why don't we jump into Dream Daddy? Uh, that is the game for Pride Month. Like I said, it is a dating sim. Yeah? But a, a dating sim where you are a dad trying to date other dads. And I don't I don't like dating sims. I don't usually play them. I prefer like an adventure game. Um, but I thought, sure, for Pride Month, why not? Eh, eh. Anyway, I've already explained too much of this game. Let's go ahead and start playing. Um, where are we at? Let's... It does not work well on my computer. Okay, I got it, I got it to work. Okay, first of all, um, options I need to fix. Still too low. Okay. Ah, right, let's go back and uh, let's continue. Continue the game. Um, uh, so we already did this. Um, so wait, what are what, what are seven thirty three, seven thirty nine, seven fifty nine? Okay, we'll do this. Okay. 
good. Like I said, I already started playing um, to, to kind of get a feel for the game. Always drink water. Okay. I get to work on packing the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. Wash your dryers. But washing and drying. Okay. Oh, wow. We have a visitor. And that was loud. Let me turn this way down. Here we go. It's a visitor already. I walk over the door and I open it. Hello. A handsome, clean cut man stands at my door brandishing a plate of cookies. Now, okay. When you move into a new neighborhood... At least in America, the neighbors will introduce themselves. So they're, here they are, they're introducing, this neighbor is introducing himself with the cookies. Hello? Oh, where are my manners? Oh, look at this good English practice right here. Where are my manners? Oh, that's good English. Uh, my name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, right on. Oh, yes, hi. I'm Raynard. That's what my name is. So Raynard is the my character, the redhead character with the beard and the glasses, because um, I used to have really long hair and a really long beard. That's why I picked this character. Anyway, um, uh, that's what my name is. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Joseph leans in and whispers... But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Wow, cookies, huh? I love Amanda. That's cool. Uh, so, nice to meet you, she says. Uh, Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies, she says. Amanda disappears with the cookies. So, I guess I'm not getting any cookies. Amanda, come. Ah, she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough, Joseph says. Sons are also tough. Children in, in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there's actually be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, I meant, don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Yeah, you're so rude, Raynard. Raynard, you are so rude. Yeah, okay. Uh, is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's uh, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. You stand there quietly for a moment, Achilles, about how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look quizzically at Joseph, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors. Sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. So this is a nice as neighbor interactions. Uh, when are we going to get to the dating part? Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Oh, sharp. Oh, 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Oh, look at all this really good English that's being uh, uh, used here. Uh, 3 p.m. sharp. Oh, so great. Uh, sure thing, neighbor. Um, and, uh, uh oh, hold on. Uh, Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth man minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. You seem nice. Amanda walks in. Walks back and crumbs her face. Uh, that was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. 
If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? <laughs> I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Um, let's get some fresh air. Let's hit that park down the road. I saw a ton of dogs there when we drove past. Okay. Uh, will you help me steal a dog? Wait. What? I don't want to steal a dog. I don't want to steal a dog. For the last time, I can't fit a dog into the pockets of my cargo shorts. It's physically impossible. I'm breaking my heart, Pops. I, I like Amanda. I always bring a war chest. What? Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street. The flowers are in bloom. And the faint smell of nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Ah, <laughs> uh, good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. This is great. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government operative. Ronnie, you baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddler stretches out there through the clicker and dogs of all shapes and sizes roam through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but I'm in a spot a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up. Ow. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. What? Oof. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around his neck bounds up to me, whacking its tail. Wait, corgis have tails? I didn't realize corgis have. Did you throw this thing on my head? Bark. He runs around in a circle and etches my leg with his nose. This is the cutest dog. Um, I'm a pet the dog. But where do I pet the dog? This was chase scratches. Dragon top speeds. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us. Hawaiian shirt! Hey! Hawaiian shirt represent! Um, uh, it takes a frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands and not your face. Um, uh, it's a new technique. I like that it's like, the, but the goal's my face. Looks like you're winning. I'm just messing with you. Oh, he likes you. I'm Brian, by the way. Look at that guy with a big beard. Look at him. I'm Raynard, and this is my daughter, Amanda. Uh, I look over at Amanda and find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. Dog's cool. Old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where is yours? Brian gestures over to Grassy Knoll where young Noel where, uh, sits on a chicken... Blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Whoa. My natural talent is in. Let's brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> Brian, go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Okay. Um, I... That's my girl! Amanda, get in there! Okay, okay. Uh, Raynard's HP, Brian's HP. Brag. Amanda here, just president of the local photography award. Wow, congratulations! Yeah, Alright, minus 10 point. Daisy actually just won a state of poetry contest. Oh, you're this 15? Oh, no. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you can't switch daughter. Oh. Uh, item. Um. Spelling. Uh, pull up a photo, winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. This is getting multi prep for our annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be our third win in a row. Yikes, he leaves 5 HP. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at our com elementary computer club. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or computer lab. 
Yeah, it's Tempe. Uh, oh no, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna brag. Okay, last week unprompted, a man helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Oh yeah. Uh, Daisy sold enough candy and beer prizes here to get the top prize a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. Oh, no. I'm going to bring an item. Uh, child art. Okay. You're going to fill your wallet uh, to uh, reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda generally appreciates you holding on to it. Um, Brian, this is Tempe. You regained 20 points. Uh, did I mention Daisy said our first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's with potty. Still cute, but maybe this is in the time to bring it up. You lose 10 P. Um, oh, no. What am I going to do? I'm going to bring an item. Uh, Band-Aid. With a flourish, you produce a band-aid from your pocket. Take it. Take it and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. <laughs> Amanda, what are you doing? Uh, being a protective parent. Anyone would agree it is an unusual gesture. You lose 10 points. Daisy here has all for adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. You lose 20 HP. Oh no, no. I'm gonna, bra I'm gonna brag. Uh, Amanda is in all honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10 P. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teacher about having her skip a grade. I mean, Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. Dang, he's really got his beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. How did he have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Oh, no. Okay, this is terrible. Uh, is, this a, is this a dating sim or like a, a dad competition? What's going on here? My God. So take a two are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in that cul sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch style house on the corner. I know the house, just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Um, what a lovely place. Well, I don't take up any more of your time. I think I was meeting you guys. You'll stop by sometime. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Okay. Crazy. Uh, Brian and Daisy walk further in the park with Maxwell happ happily trotting along in tow. You got a feeling he was trying to one-up us? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, believe he had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave and Epic in Seven Parts. We laugh off uh, the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more enjoying the day. Go take a nap. All the sunlight's making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept for 14 hours. Exactly. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come behind us. Raynard, bro, I turn around and greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Bro. Bro. What's going on here? Holy. Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. He does look great. He does look great. Craig looks really nice. Can Craig be my boyfriend? How do I do that? How do I choose him to be my, my boyfriend? Hold on. Uh, no, I guess I got, yeah, it's a dating sim. You gotta like make the right choices, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, 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 clean up my act. Clean up his act, are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Ah, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up China and makes around. River gurgles happily. That is adorable. 
You are babysitting? Nah, dude, River's my kid. And his has been elected. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, a minute I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of her. We're in the twins. It's all copacetic. Wait, twins? You have three kids? What's going on here? You ain't like something, bruh? Right? Kickstand Craig is a father. <laughs> uh, of three. Kickstand Craig. Uh, this is my old college nickname. You got it because it did a lot of keg stands. Is that? It's that thing where you do a hand sign on a keg and then drink from the keg, right? And he's very good at it, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of a daily jog and I really gotta keep my heart rate. But I river along for you know resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promise to myself I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. I was never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. I don't know. <laughs> nice. I love, I love the sound effects that come with this game. It's pretty cool. Uh, come on. It'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar, jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing. He said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. I guess so. I guess so. What's going on? Okay. I'm actually going to have to go pretty soon. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better go home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Uh, this... Uh, yeah. Wow, this is too fast. This thing that are moving too fast. I can't read so fast. Can't read the tips. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting myself right back into the boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I can visit. I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. You can be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. <laughs> a dog, I love it. Go to art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium sized dog, handkerchief around his neck, I can name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of symbol wants and needs. Well, a dog a lot cheaper than college. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like my entire future, not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter opener with her teeth. You have a letter opener, but okay. I hold my breath while my hands are drop, drop back in front of scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the mission committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. We regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Oh, sweetie. That's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experiment up in my portfolio. The admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I'll pull Amanda in for a big hug. Oh, man. 
Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm kind of doing the same thing now. I've got a kind of a portfolio, but you're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put on your portfolio. Some of the schools is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Face says the opposite. But I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. So, when you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool, I choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you have to have a new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I'm secretly... A man of the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duties. This is great. Uh, I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? He was not. I thought he was, I thought he was a mayor. Wasn't he the mayor? Anyway. He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Go out and watch the game. Nice. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. The game on TV. At somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. I would have expected you guys to be up to white-collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Yes, Dad. Just making sure. Give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? No, I'm making fun of sports. It's played out. All right, then. I did some light cleaning around the house and decided to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrived. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Please don't pirate games. Thank you. Well, I guess I really didn't think this plan through, and I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still has to show me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just going to pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool, okay. We're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance, could it be? A big burned out neon sign hangs above the tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim saw. All right, it'll do. Bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of the pool ball sounds in the back. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover at the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. Uh, the bartender slides an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, so are you Jim or Kim? I mean, Neil. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm not really sure what the, what's going on here. Uh, right. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As I could have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but it's currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The broadly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in the bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike. Although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Okay. A middle-aged woman uh, holding a nearly empty wine glass sidles up to me to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Hello, lady. Oh, hello. 
Good to see a fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often? Oh, no, actually, I just moved to this part of town. I'm Raynard, by the way. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Oh, I love that team, and also I love that game. I love someone who knows her way around balls. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh, buy a gal a drink. Buy Mary a drink. I almost reluctantly see the drink and order another glass of wine. You know, just back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company now. So, what do you want to know? What's the latest gossip? You came to the right broad. I'm an observer. I watch people. I see everything. We know everyone. Nothing gets past me. So... So what? So I thought you were gonna... I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> about the gossip? You said nothing gets past you? Alright, I'm also a steel trap. Confidential to a fault. I love it. So what else can you tell me about this part of town? It's quiet, that's for sure. If you're in an idyllic life with white picket fences, this is a place to do it, but every town has its secrets, you know. She takes a sip of her drink. That's a little too ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh, boy. Maybe some other time? Suit yourself, sailor. Mary Saunters... Offsetting our sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. Uh, whatever. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for adjustment teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss roster, I'll say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our teams. <laughs> the game is close. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. In the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple through the bar. <laughs> I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love uh, for the game. He motions for the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Robert's cool. He looks like a cool dude. He's got a leather jacket and he wears sunglasses. Also, he didn't shave today. I didn't shave today either. I also didn't shave yesterday. I also didn't shave the day before yesterday. And I didn't shave the day two days before. Yeah, anyway. I, I don't shave. I have a beard. Thanks, I'm a rain nerd. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As I as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? No. That'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Ah, okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer? But I'll drink most things. You like shots? I love shots. Thank God. Oh, he likes me. Robert and Austin Neal, who serves up two shots of whiskey, hands one to me. Here's to your health. We take the shots of whiskey, burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Rainer, this guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Uh, I like your jacket. Thanks. Been in my family a long time. Passed down from firstborn to firstborn. Curse, some would say. Man, this guy's mysterious and 
cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Not like forever. She's having a sleepover with her friends. Family type, huh? Single dad. Hmm. He gets up. Be right back. Got a powder on my nose. What? Neil comes over and says, Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Uh, I guess so. Gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back and grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? Me too. Just finished unpacking today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, Rainer. So are you doing this or what? You know, do you want to come inside or not? A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. What is just happening here? So he's inviting me to, into his house. What, to play like video games or something? No, that's not Robert's style. Oof. Man. Man, he moves fast. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. Do I go? Do I go inside? Um. Uh. How about I call it a night? Catch you around. Sure. I head home, head buzzing with whiskey. What did I mean, are we going to do this or not? I'll plop it on the couch and I'm asleep before I even get a chance to take my shoes off. Try to exercise regularly. I wake up from a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early birds. Still going to work out. This is crack, by the way. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Why don't we really like to get back to sleep? Whoops, must have went back. I check my phone again. Hey, bud, still want to get your soul on? Hit me up. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out, but it is crack. I do want to catch up. Go to the gym. Hey, man, I need a few minutes to wake up. Let's meet at 20. I know it's a sure thing. Meet me at the, at the gym. I stretch on my bones creak. I got to stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw out my blanket. Wait, I don't remember falling asleep with the blanket. A man that must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless a child. Okay. We're going to go just past this. We're going to go past this, and then we're going to stop. Uh, the neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp, and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. A spot crack standing out front, stretching, of course. He spots me and waves enthusiastically. Hey, bro. You know, uh, I like Craig. I think it's kind of cute. I don't really, I don't really like think about guys like that, but I mean, this is a dating sim, you know? So anyway, uh, hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped up as he is. Maybe he should have, uh, have, have should have had some coffee bar while ready to kick some butt. Gotta say, Posse, I'm here to party. That's a spirit. We head to the gym and I'm immediately intimidated. All these people look like they could break me in half. And it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. You have five of figure guns, all the cool jocks in them. They look like they could. You would steal my lunch money. Come on, bud. Let's warm up. 
We had over the trunk must have start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking's good. This is a decent place to be walking. So I know we're on treadmills. Yeah. And those over there are ellipticals. Very good. What is all this other stuff? Craig laughs. They might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific person for building muscle mass. I watch as a dude in a muscle T flexes a muscle didn't even know existed. On a machine that used to process grain? What is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Uh, a religious self meant to atone for sin. You're actually not far off from the truth. No, crack is turning at the speed. I better do the same. Uh, how long have you been doing this buff thing? Couple of years. And what do you do when you're not doubting or working out? Oh, I coach my twin softball team. That still counts with what doubting and buffing. Uh, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? <laughs> I live my life as close to a Jimmy Buffett song as possible. <laughs> a few worries as I can muster. The last shaker of salt was a metaphor. A metaphor about what? About not being able to shake salt on onto something. We're jogging now. God, we're jogging now. I look over Crack hasn't even broken his sweat. How is he doing this? I'm dying. I can feel my life force draining. <laughs> hey, remember when my fish died in college? Huh, no, I don't like this story. <sighs> oh my god, is he really bumping up to speed again? I guess I better do it too. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. And we're, we were at that party and you vowed to make me feel better. And you tell me to create a distraction. So of course I'd do a sick hex and I'd get everyone cheering. And then I huff, uh, try to steal a fish from fish tank at the party with my bare hands like an idiot. And then you drop the fish and it's flopping around in panic. So you run from the post, uh, post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in there that you scooped off the ground and you're yelling me, you have to leave. So we're running out of a frat party with the fish are trying to give it mouth to mouth. <coughs> and we get him home and get him into a bowl of water. But the prognosis is grim. And the next day, he's uh, alive and well. They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge U. And they never uh, 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 will. I shoot off the end of the trip and I crash into the wall. That hurt. Dude, bro, are you okay? Crack offers me a hand and looks up on my injuries. I'm fantastic. I stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. You sure? Yeah. All right. Well, here. I brought you this. Uh, Crack hands me a shaker bottle full of a thick green liquid. I stare at it with what must be apparent distaste. It's a protein shake, bro. Ah, oh, thank you. He wants me to drink it. Oh, boy. Here it goes. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Wow, oh, this is really good. It's good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm proud of it. I mean, now if you ever want to work out again, maybe we can try running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your speed. No pun intended. Good one. Well, I'm going to go put some ice on this everything. <laughs> I'll see you around. I don't know. I'll leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from a pizza place. And now you can run circles around me, literally. Man, I only got to work on this dad bod. I get home a lot on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh, God, I'm so old. This seems like a good... Uh-oh. I must have fallen asleep again. What time is it? Shoot, it's 3.55. I'm supposed to be at Amanda's school in five minutes. A friend could put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant, and went out the door. So with that, that is Dream Daddy. I didn't, I didn't get to date... Any of the dad, maybe kind of, sort of. Did I, did I date, uh, uh, Craig? We went to the gym together. That's like a, that's a cool date, right? Going to the gym together. And then also there was that, I went to the bar. And then that creepy lady, but she was very, she was very hot. I liked the lady. And then there was, what was that dude's name? The whiskey guy? I forgot his name. And then he kind of, he offered for me to come to his house. I don't know. I don't know. But I think I'm done playing this game. Anyway, that was it. Dream Daddy. 
Uh, and next week, we're going to play another Pride-themed game. And we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it. Bye.